Hi, welcome to another video. So, I recently covered Gemini Code Assist, which was actually kind of cool, because it's free, and it has pretty good limits. I mean, getting above the 180k requests per month is almost impossible, and the auto-completions that I have been getting with it are kind of great as well. I prefer it over the original Copilot auto-completion, although they have also leveled up a bit with their new GPT-4 O-Mini-based autocomplete. But this is also not bad, and I really like it. It obviously doesn't have the next edit suggestion and stuff, but I don't actually care about it. One thing that it really lacks is the one and only option of agentic mode, like it has the chat interface, but it feels like it was built in the 1900s, and isn't that great. So, I thought that I'll show you how you can have a great agentic chat setup alongside Gemini Code Assist and make Gemini Code Assist work just like an autocomplete while you can use the free API of Gemini 2.0 to make it work on Klein or RuCode and have an agentic coder that does the main stuff for you. Now, many people would say that Gemini is not as good as 3.7 Sonnet or O3 and yes, they are correct, and it's not as good. But, you'll have to consider that this is free, and it is quite usable. Especially if you set it up correctly, like with 2.0 Flash, thinking as a planner, and then 2.0 Pro, as the editor then, it can even be amazing to use. Now let me just show you how you can do that, and how you can configure all this. But, before we do that, I want to take a quick break to tell you about Dart AI, which is something that's been a game changer for my workflow lately. It's an AI-powered project management tool that's honestly quite amazing. You can generate entire project plans from a simple prompt, detect duplicate tasks automatically, create subtasks, and, this is the coolest part, you can actually assign tasks to the AI itself and it will complete them for you. You can use it to generate blog posts, research topics, and even create thumbnails without having to do the work yourself. It's pretty insane how good it is. The best part? It's completely free for teams up to four people. If you need more, they have $8 and $12 plans with even more features. Dart also has some great integrations. You can connect it with GitHub to link issues and PRs, integrate with Slack and Discord for updates, and even use their API to build custom workflows. If you're working on projects of any kind, you should really give Dart a try. It's built from the ground up with AI in mind, and it shows in how seamlessly everything works. Check out the link in the description to get started. It's free so you've got nothing to lose, and trust me, it'll change how you manage your projects. Now, back to the video. So, first of all in VS Code, you'll need to go to Extensions, and here, you can just go ahead and search for Gemini Code Assist, and get it installed, and set up accordingly, and it will start the autocomplete stuff, and it works well, and is pretty fast. So, this is great and you can use this as much as you want, as the rate limits are quite good here, and the completions are also good. If you don't like it, then you can also give Super Maven and Kodayam a try as well. Anyway, now comes the main part, which is to set up Klein or RuCode with Gemini. Now, Klein and RuCode are generally the same, but RuCode has more advanced features while Klein doesn't. I'll recommend you to just use Klein as it is simple to use and doesn't have a steep learning curve. So, just get that installed, and then we can just go ahead, and in the settings, we can just set up our API. You'll need to select Gemini here, and then you'll need to enter the API key accordingly. The Pro, Flash, and Flash thinking models are free with some rate limits, which are pretty fine for most of the stuff. Anyway, now there are actually two modes in Klein. First is the plan mode, 
and the other is the edit mode. Plan mode generally only creates plans, and then you can change to edit mode and get that plan implemented. So, I'll recommend you to set up flash thinking as the plan model and pro model as the edit one. You can do that by just selecting the mode here and then setting the model accordingly, which is kind of cool. So, just get that set up accordingly. Now let me just show you how all this comes together when you are actually coding. So, this is an app that I use for testing. It is an image cropper and brightness and properties changer thing. Now, I want to add an option to it that allows me to change the highlights and shadows. Now first, we'll select the plan option here because we want to first use the flash thinking model to work on a plan and how to achieve this. So, as we do that, you'll see that flash thinking will start working on it. Flash is actually quite fast. I mean, even if you use 3.7 Sonnet, then it is slow at times, and also sometimes just rejects stuff because of their API downage. Anyway, we now have the plan here, which looks kind of great. So, now to make it apply the changes, we can just change the mode to Act, and it will automatically start to apply the plan and edit the files accordingly. Pro has some higher rate limits than Flash, but it's better at coding. It's also quite fast in comparison to things like Sonnet. Anyway, if we wait a bit, then it's now done. You can see that it did the code edits pretty well, and the only thing that remains is to test it. So, let's just run it, and once we do that, you'll see that here's the app, and if we use it, then this works pretty well. So, this is amazing to see. I mean, considering that it's free, it's actually quite cool. If you combine Flash Thinking and Pro, then you can get some quite amazing results for free, which is kind of amazing. You can also use the Gemini Code Assist for autocomplete, and this will be like a full Gemini setup. And I actually really like it, because their APIs are actually quite reliable, and you can use it quite easily with their free tier which is kind of great. Another thing is that you can also set up MCP servers for some other stuff as well and integrate Gemini with that as it will allow you to customize to your own workflow. Like you can add the Obsidian MCP tool if you use that or you can also add the Supabase one and stuff like that. Also, there are some programming languages that Gemini works best with like React, Python and stuff. It also works amazingly with Go and Flutter, so you can use that as well. Anyway, go ahead and give it a try for sure, and it surely helps if you don't want to use Sonnet and others. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!